Good morning, it's Saturday morning. It's not Saturday morning, it's Saturday at half past 11. And we're making breakfast now. Levi's already started on my blueberry breakfast muffins, which I've just realized. Do you like it? Yeah. Okay, good. So today we're having a bit of a day at home day because I've got the race tomorrow. We need to do some prep for Belgium because we're going to Belgium for Christmas this year which is very exciting and we leave, it's four weeks today that we'll be driving to Belgium, we're going on a road trip and we're there for five, five days, six days, 22nd to the 27th. 28th tonight. No it's not, it's the 29th to the 27th because then it's your work party on the 28th isn't it? Indeed it is. So we're there for five days but we need to just have a bit of a run through of working out timings and such and then we've got to do a little bit more painting um, next door and then what was the other thing we were going to do today? Oh, I need to turbo because yesterday was rest day. I'm going to do a bit of a turbo today and then we're going to make some form of a dinner this evening. We've had a change of plan. We are going to practice dismounting and remounting, which I'm not very good at and I've completely forgotten how to do it. So we're going to go to the park and Levi's going to teach me how to do it because he knows and I don't. afternoon now it's about half past three I think yeah so we got back from doing those dismounts and remounts and I don't know what the footage looks like I don't even know if I've got much footage Levi wouldn't let me record it when we first got there he was like you just need to focus don't think about the camera so I didn't start recording the first bit although I wish I had because I monumentally fell off and it I just think it would have been really funny anyway I've successfully done it which is a massive thing if you ride cyclocross is a massive thing to be able to dismount and remount well and it's something that I have not been able to do yet it was on my list but I just need to keep practicing it because it's pretty damn hard I just kept getting scared but I just needed to have the confidence that I was able to do it but I've done that now I've just done an hour of painting the um, home office and now I'm going to pack for my race tomorrow so I just need to get all my bits and bobs together, um, pack my kit, pack my layers, um, get everything in order for that. So we just had a pretty chill day. I'm really glad that we went out and practiced though because I feel a little bit more confident about the race tomorrow but I just need to make sure that I keep practicing, keep practicing, keep practicing because I hadn't done it for a while that's why I kind of panicked and forgot what I was doing. I'm racing in Scotland. 
gunboat today, so this is going to be a nice fun journey. It's about an hour. Is that person on the right side of the road? No. We've got about an hour and a half of the journey up to Scunthorpe. It's my last race for this year, so it'll be a good one regardless. Positive mental attitude. <laughs> <laughs> We have an hour till the race, done a lap of the course, two laps of the course, and I'm going to jump on the turbo in a minute, beat my sandwich. Oh, that was not cool at all. I didn't do well. I did great! <laughs> Third senior woman. Eosh! Best result of the season. Absolutely buzzing. It just shows that when you work hard the whole race, you can do quite well. I'm so proud of myself. I fell off once, but it's okay. Got back up. Third place. Eosh! So happy. I've got the number one best mentor though, this guy. So feeling good, feeling good. And now we have a nice little road trip home. <laughs> wow, can you tell how many layers I've got on? Um, it's eight o'clock now or just before. I'm going to the office early today because we've got this final proposal to try and get over the line. It took us about an hour and a half to get back from the race yesterday and then we went out to the pub because I didn't even want to think about cooking dinner. So we went out to the pub and it was really nice and I still can't believe that I got third. I'm so happy. Uh, I really did not think that I would be able to get a third place in my first cross season. I'm so proud of myself. I put myself in the red zone. Oh my goodness. I I was huffing and puffing and panting that whole time. But it paid off. I'm so proud of myself. Levi was so supportive. He does so much for me. He just makes the whole process so much easier and less stressful and he sorts my bikes out and I'm just so thankful for him because he's just he's just wonderful. It's a good start to the week feeling really positive about it and uh, we shall see how you know my training and stuff goes. I am actually going to make sure that I do. There is one more there's one more race in two weeks time uh, that I'm going to make sure I do. Me and Levi are going away this weekend coming for a night away because I just need I just needed a break from work and life so we've got that booked we're gonna go away for the night and then I'm gonna make sure I do that other race now because I don't want that to have been my last one also thank you so much for all of your comments on last week's vlog I was reading them last night and it's just such a lovely feeling to know that you guys are watching my vlogs again and have missed me and it's such a nice feeling and I just really wish that I could give you all a massive hug because it's so nice to have those comments it means so much to me I really love reading them and yeah it really makes me want to carry on making sure that I'm vlogging as much as I can and making sure that I've got you know some good content in my vlogs and it's not just um, me sat in a car <laughs> like it is now so yeah thank you for those comments and thank you for watching because I do I really do appreciate it so today I'm doing eight till four and good morning it is Tuesday morning now and I don't really feel great I'm so tired I I had a rest day yesterday because it was the day after the race so it was a recovery day but I went into work early and I stayed a little bit later and then I was painting the office 
last night and I didn't really sleep very well on Sunday night after my race, I never do. I slept well last night but it, I had to peel myself out of bed but I'm going to the gym, I don't, I don't know if this is a sensible idea what I'm about to do but I'm going to the gym and I'm gonna try, I'm gonna do a turbo tonight. Oh, we got the contract, we got the big proposal. The, uh, we got the message through last night, so we got it. The boys have worked just so hard recently on it. It's been very, very tough at work and they have worked so hard. I'm incredibly proud of them. Oh my God, I'm going the wrong way. I've just totally realized. What is wrong with me? Maybe this shows that I should not be going to the gym right now. I have just driven to work. I'm driving the way to work. I'm not even driving the way to go to the gym. Wow. How silly. Right, how am I gonna get there? Oh, what a joke. Oh my. Ugh. So I am going Oh, what an absolute fool. I just didn't even think about it because it's not even that. I am an absolute fool. I forgot to show you guys that this is the current bruise that I've got. How nice. That's from where I fell off. But I'm at the gym now, so try and do some running if we can. I feel so much better for doing that. I feel normal again. I'm really glad that I made myself do that. I think I feel better now than I would have felt if I had just gone straight to work an hour later. So I'm really, really glad that I did that workout. And then, please don't reverse whilst I'm driving. Um, and then when I get back tonight after work, I will do a turbo session. So I'm feeling good. It's a good start to the day. It's half past nine, so I'm gonna be early to work anyway, but I had a good, good workout. We're good, we're on track for a good Tuesday. I only have two more days in the office. I only have today and tomorrow, and then I have a four day weekend. I'm just finishing my cool down now. <sighs> Two sessions in a day always absolutely wrecks me. So I'm feeling really tired and I've got an evening of painting. So yay, but I've only got one more day at work tomorrow. So, and then it's my weekend. So I've just got a few more minutes of my cool down. I'm just spinning. It's my last day at work. And I have got terrible period pains. <laughs> uh, every month I forget how much they hurt. So I've dosed up on ibuprofen. Today is gonna be another pretty intense day because it's my last day at work for the week. And then Bruce is having Friday off also. We have to get a full content plan over to our new clients by Friday. 
and a production plan. All stations are go. We've put the lights up in the home office, so that is super exciting. Uh, I helped my dad do that this morning. I have just finished work on Wednesday now, so I'm officially on downtime, ho holiday, not that I'm leaving um, or going anywhere special, but I'm officially on holiday. And I realised that I didn't show you the office the other day, um, or in last week's video, about the table that Chris made. Um, he actually said that to me earlier. He was like, you never showed them what the table was. So... This is our new table. It's pretty messy, so I do apologize about that. Anyway, so now I'm just closing up. Everyone has left. And um, I was just like packing, just packing my laptop and stuff up. And gonna lock up. And I was gonna do some turbo tonight, but to be honest, I just don't think I'm into it. Hello. Um, yeah, I just don't think that I'm, I don't think I want to, and I've not got a race this weekend, so I'm not gonna push myself and make myself hate it. So I'm just gonna have a, I'm just gonna go straight into painting when I get home. Wow. I think we're pretty much done here. It's horrible and rainy outside. It's my mum's birthday tomorrow, so that's why we're going to the spa, but I'm going to make a birthday sticky toffee pudding for her because I only just learned how to do it, but I'm pretty damn good if I do say so myself. So, getting my dates ready. Gonna make this sticky toffee pudding. Side note, it's also my favorite dessert ever, so. Who doesn't love pudding? I just did some fasted cardio and I'm gonna have a shower and then go and pick my mum up for the spa day. because I'm also having today off, uh, which is a lovely feeling. So I've just got up, it's half past eight, and I'm just putting the kettle on. I'm gonna have some breakfast, and then me and my mum are going for a bike ride. After I've had the bike ride, um, we're gonna have a cafe stop as well, and we're just gonna have a really nice ride. It looks pretty cold out there, but it's a nice blue sky. So that should be lovely. Not thinking about work. I am just about to go for my ride and I'm gonna finish the vlog up here because I'm not here this weekend. I want to make sure that I get this week's vlog up on Sunday and if I don't get the rest of it edited now, then I won't be able to get that up on Sunday for you guys. So I'm gonna leave it here for this week. I really hope that you've enjoyed this weekly vlog again. Thank you so much for all of your lovely comments. I really, really do love reading them. And I'm so glad that I'm back, like, connecting with you guys. It really means a lot to me. And thanks for, you know, sticking with me after all of this time of being here, there and everywhere with Austria and America and just all over the place. So thank you for sticking with me. And I'm really, really glad to be back. Really hope that you did enjoy this video. If you did... Thumbs up, subscribe, all my social media links are down below and I will see you next week.